Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this song called There Times Two by Slushy and Marshmallow. It's a pretty catchy song, here we go. Give you a preview of the two awesome sections that I like the most in this song and a lot of people like it as well. Now, first of all, it's the instrumental section that appears throughout a lot of times in the song, it's like in the, in the intro and in the middle and pre-chorus and a lot of stuff. And then also I'll be teaching you the verse section which is awesome with a singing section as well. So here we go, give you a preview, it goes like this, okay. The first section, the instrumental section, goes like this. I just repeat, etc. Okay, but anyway, the other section is the verse section, goes like this, okay? So the singing part, okay. Okay, but anyway, let's go ahead and learn these two awesome sections right now, okay? So here we go. Okay, we're gonna break it up to parts, the first section, the instrumental section, so it's easier to learn. Let me see, one, two, three, four parts, all right? So four parts, first part goes like this, right hand starts on the D flat here, middle C's here for reference, we go by an octave to this C, it's the D flat right here. So D flat, D flat, up to A flat, F, D flat, D flat, D flat, A flat, F, E flat, D flat. And that's the first part for the right hand. One more time, so it goes like this, goes, D flat, D flat, A flat, F, D flat, D flat, D flat, A flat, F, E flat, D flat. And that's the right hand for this first part. Once you get that left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are two D flat major chords, which is D flat, F, A flat. So two of these chords. Okay, so with these two D flat major chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, D flat and D flat major together. So together. Second D flat and D flat major together. One more time, it goes like this, it goes together, together, like that. Moving on, second part, right hand continues, it goes D flat, D flat, A flat, F, D flat, D flat, D flat, A flat, F, E flat, D flat, C. And that's the right hand for the second part. One more time, so it goes D flat, D flat, A flat, F, D flat, D flat, D flat, A flat, F, E flat, D flat, C. Okay, essentially it's like really similar right hand as the first part, but just extra C at the end, if you realize that. But anyway, that's that right hand. Left hand for the second part, we have two chords here. The two chords are both B flat minor chords, which is B flat, D flat, F. So two of these B flat minor chords. Okay, so with these two B flat minor chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, D flat and B flat minor together. So together. Next D flat and B flat minor together. Like that. One more time, it goes together. Together, like that. Moving on. Actually, before we do that, back to back, the two parts we've learnt so far will be play like this. Check it out. So, like that. Moving on. Third part, right hand continues. D flat, D flat, A flat, F. D flat, D flat, D flat, A flat, F, E flat, D flat. Okay, so the right hand, exactly the same right hand as the first part, okay? Hope you saw that. Okay, pretty simple, so remember that. D flat, D flat, A flat, F, D flat, D flat, D flat, A flat, F, E flat, D flat. So remember, same right hand for the uh, this third part, same as the first part, okay? So once you get the right hand there, left hand, we have two different chords here though. The two different chords are A flat major, two of them are both A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat, it's two of them. So with these two A flat major chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, D flat and A flat major together. Next D flat and A flat major together. Like that. And that's the third part. One more time, it goes together, together, just like that. Okay, back to back, the three parts we've learned so far would be played like this, check it out. Moving on to the fourth and last one of this instrumental section before the whole thing repeats. Right hand goes D flat, D flat, A flat, F, D flat, D flat, D flat, A flat, F, E flat, D flat, C. So the same right hand as the second part. 
simple stuff, so remember that. D flat, D flat, A flat, F, D flat, D flat, D flat, A flat, F, E flat, D flat, C. So pretty simple right hand, you can see the pattern going on. So the fourth part, same as the second part, and the third part, same as the first part, just remember that. Okay, that's the right hand. Left hand, two chords here, finally, the two chords are kind of different. It doesn't have a double chord anymore. It's G flat major, which is G flat, B flat, D flat. And the second chord is changes to A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, G flat major and A flat major, the two hands together goes like this, D flat and G flat major together. Next, D flat and A flat major together. Like that, one more time, together, together, and that's it. So back to back, all four parts will be played like this, check it out. Okay, let's continue on to the next section now, okay? So here we go, the awesome verse sing singing section, okay? So here we go. We're gonna break it up into parts. Okay, this part is actually easier. We can only, we can break it into any, um, Two parts, it should be fine because like not as many notes as the first section. So here we go. Right hand starts on the D flat here, middle C, C, D flat, okay? It's a D flat, F, F, E flat, E flat, F, E flat, E flat, E flat, F, like that. And that's the first part for the right hand. One more time, so it goes like this. Goes D flat, F, F, E flat, E flat, F, E flat, E flat, E flat, F, and that's it for the right hand. Once you get that, left hand, four chords for the first part, okay? It's actually the same, um, like, progression as the thing that we learned in the first section. But if you don't recall that, the four chords, the first four chords in this progression is two D-flat majors, which is D-flat, F, A-flat, so two of them, followed by two B-flat minor chords. Seems familiar, which is B-flat, D-flat, F, and two of them. Yeah, hope that's familiar, because it is the same progression, okay? okay? But anyway, yeah, so with these four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, D-flat major, by itself twice, one, two, three, four, one, and the right comes in, two, three, four, and then the second E flat and B flat minor together, B flat minor by itself, right comes in, like that, and that's the first part. Okay, one more time, it goes here, two, three, four, here, two, three, four, together, here, like that. Moving on to the second part. Okay, right hand continues down to the A flat. And then up to E flat for four times. One, two, three, four, D flat up to G flat, F, D flat, D flat, C, D flat. And that's it for the right hand. Pretty simple stuff. One more time, it goes down to A flat, up to E flat for three times. One, two, three, four, D flat up to G flat, F, D flat, D flat, C, D flat. And that's the right hand. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Once you get that, left hand, four chords here. It's the other four chords in the series, which if you recall that, that's two A flat major, which is A flat, C, E flat, so two of them. And then third chord is G flat major, G flat, B flat, D flat, and the fourth chord back to A flat major, A flat, C, E flat. Simple stuff. So with these four chords in mind, so A flat major twice, G flat major and A flat major, the two hands together goes like this. So it goes like this, A flat and the A flat major together. One, two, chord by itself, right comes in. G flat and G flat major together. Next D flat and A flat major together. Like that. All right, one more time, it goes like this. It goes together, two, three, four, here. Together, together, like that. And that's it, back to back. The two parts of this section will just be played like this. Check it out, so here. Repeat it. Normally play twice. Yeah, and that's it, okay? So afterwards, you can obviously make it more awesome if you want by adding more, uh, like, chords, uh, not chords, like more um, decorations to the chords, okay? So uh, the left hand, you can do more octaves and arpeggio patterns, right hand can harmonize it, you can be like... Yeah, something like that. 
So he's different to what I did in the preview. That's the awesomeness of this method. Melody and chords and everything else are just like substitute, uh, you can like substitute patterns and it's just like a formula, a mathematical formula kind of thing. Okay, but anyway, if you wanna learn how to do all this stuff, I teach you all my piano courses, how to play by ear, improvise, read, sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other stuff, okay? So check it out, okay, from my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below. Okay, if you like these tutorials, uh, like check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands of these step-by-step -step piano tutorials here, okay? So if you're a fan of marshmallow, I've done a lot of marshmallow stuff as well. I'm a pretty big fan of marshmallows. Uh, catchy EDM like songs as well, so go ahead and check them out. Okay, but anyway, that's pretty much it. So enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.